Hey, so today is day four of my 30 days of react challenge and today I've built yet another very basic little app um, called fruit fact revealer which does exactly that you click a button and it reveals some facts on fruit so let's have a look okay so over here we can see we just have my normal header and a button you click the button that says show me fruit facts and it reveals some fruit facts and this text changes to say fruit facts are boring you click it again and it hides the fruit facts um so i've used a few new kind of uh features in this app one of which is um or explored a few new kind of areas of react one is storing objects um as arrays um at, as state arrays and also along with just some regular ones so if you see down here before we were just calling like this dot state dot name now it's an element of an array zero one two um the other thing that is new that i have played with is rendering content conditionally so if you see um here we have um a little block here of fruit fact components being rendered but this is conditionally um, based on the val uh, the value of fruit facts. Um, cool. So, oh, sorry, I'm still really tired. So my explanation is a little bit rubbish. But I think what I'm mainly going to do is just talk about this um, function here because that's the main thing that differs from the other couple of projects I've done so far. So what I've created is a function called toggle fruit fruit facts handler, which basically controls everything that happens with this button and the changing text. Um, so what it does uh, when activated is it checks the const currently showing, sorry, it creates a variant called currently showing, which is equal to this.state.showfruits, which on first render is false. Um, and then what it does is switches that value that boolean from false to true when it's activated. At the same time, um, it also, if currently showing is true, then what it does is it switches the state of the show fruit message to equal. So like, as you click the button, it kind of flips that message. It's show me fruit facts or it's fruit facts are boring. And that's based on whether or not the fruit facts are showing. Okay, so let's jump over to our fruit fact component, which is super, super, super simple. Um, and all that does is just uh, shows that um, for each of those fruit um, objects within my array, it just shows the fruit name and the fact. So that's basic as with some basic styling. Um, and what else should I be talking about? Okay, so I guess another thing to note is previously um, I've just been placing the um, the calls to the components here in the return block. However, I did have time to do a little bit of reading this morning and you're supposed to keep, like it's best practice to keep this return area of your um, of your file like super light. So what I've done is actually extracted what in previous projects I've placed here into a new variant here, which is called fruit facts. Um, so what I'm actually doing down here is calling this. And how it works with the button basically is this is conditional. So this only shows if, um, sorry, I lost my train of thought and had to reset the recording. I have to leave the house in a few minutes. So I, yeah, okay, anyway. What I was saying is, um, this is conditional, so basically what it's checking is if um, this.state.showfruits is true, which obviously on first render it's false, but if the um, toggle fruits handler, fruits facts handler is triggered, it's, it's, um, it switches, then it renders this block of code like this. Um, and then again, if this is triggered again, it's checking, and if, it, yeah, backwards and forwards as per um cool i'm just wondering if there's anything else that i really need to explain um i guess the only other thing to mention is instead of having the um on click 
happening within the um, component. It's now happening on the button, which is just now at JS down here. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. I know that was a horrible um, explanation. <laughs> Not succinct at all and all over the place, but that's fine. Um, my next video, I will put a little bit more F in. Okay, bye.